Hello folks, CAT 2023 was a uh, tough quickie. So I've just taken some time to just see, just, just process this. And so the elephant in the room is quant. Quant was insanely tough. And I'm going to keep repeating this ad nauseum till you guys get bored of this. And quant was, in, quant was insanely tough. I've not seen a quant this tough in, 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 in 13, 14 years. And so, and it, is, it, was, it was unusual. Uh, there, there were multi-layered questions. We finally solved something and they'll ask you for something else. But you have to do one other, another one more minute of calculation and verification. Um, it was conceptually tough. There was a question that involved getting ratio of medians, which happened to be, I mean, ratio of altitudes. From there, inferring ratio of sides and then plugging in sign rule. But the answer choices all involved costs. So you have to stay on top of your game, be confident to see it through and then remember that okay, sign 75 same as cost 15 also. So it's a, it's a multiple layers, not obvious. So after cracking one funda, you still have to do two more computations, something else to solve and, and find out, which is tough. So it was also very time consuming because of this and conceptually tough, time consuming, and very tiring. I made uh, several calculation errors in the second half of my paper, back end of my paper because I'm thinking, I'm attributing right now to the fact that I was drained. And I, I'm usually not that drained out in quantum, I'm generally happy. So I was doing, I was made to do lots of calculations, lots of multiplying, dividing, solving, dealing with several things. It was super draining. So it was super tough. And so, uh, and then it had tons of this X, Y, M, Z. I put X, Y, M and not called it algebra because I didn't really find it to be algebra. I, 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 There's a nice difference um, between what we typically define as algebra and how this paper was. And so, we say algebra is topics like quadratic equations, cubic equations, polynomials, inequalities, functions, where there is, there is a function of x and x square and x cube and then it comes back. Here, it was not the algebra topics that were pretty were challenging, but the presence of lots of these too many variables in what you would classify as arithmetic topics. There was lots of uh, algebra looking questions which are actually arithmetic questions where they were saying, look, what is the maximum value of this? What is the minimum value of this? You have to frame an equation and then solve. And it was not the algebraic solving part, but the intuitive uh, manipulating part. That was important. It was questions with uh, 2 power, 5 power n minus 1 is greater than 3 power n plus 1. Find the least value of n where this will hold good. And then there is a 2 power m plus n. There's no, you're not solving for m, you're not solving for n, you're not factorizing anything, you're not drawing a diagram, you're not finding the roots, none of that. It's just a classic number systems question. It's nothing to do with algebra. But there are m and both present there, which is a pain. There's a logarithm question, which is 2 power x minus something by, by something, which is a logarithm question, which is, which is that medical algebra you defined any which way you want. But it has x sitting there. So every question was little bit more um, onerous because we are not dealing with 25 and 42, but with m and n. We're dealing with uncertainty. We're dealing with, uh, so the, the, even the number systems question had these variables. They're not algebra questions. It's still number systems questions. If you ask me, then you're not solving for X rather than grappling with the minimum value M could take, N could take. For that question that I'm, I'm referring to, maybe once the paper gets, we'll, we'll be talking about this. We're writing down numbers like 5, 25, 125, 625, 3125. Writing down numbers 3, 9, 27, 80, 1, 2, 43, 7, 29, and then seeing when one will become more than the other and then saying, okay, till the here it can happen and then plugging it for powers of 3 and 2, the next thing. You're dealing with numbers, not even any form of equation, but that had M and N thrown in. And so it was unnerving, very much unnerving. I can imagine students looking at that question and saying, look, I don't know the first step of solving this. How am I supposed to think about 5 power N minus 1 and 3 power N plus 1? What is the equation for this? Whereas you needed no equation, but it is unnerving because you're seeing so many M's and N's. So that was a big pain. LRDI, lots of times I heard people saying it was easy, but I think what they are referring to is it was easier than what was a nightmare LRDI last year. It was tough. There were no freebie questions in LRDI. Every set needed 12-15 minutes minimum. When you made a mistake, it became 20-25 minutes. You got stuck somewhere, just 25 minutes going down the drain. So the, the challenge part of uh, LRDI being what it is continued to be there. So it was a pain. A smidgen easier than last year because last year was super tough. And so, BRC was regular. There were no freebies anywhere. We were, we were not getting and hiding in, okay, three, four quant questions in a row, all arithmetic, all in the bag. I'm very happy. 12 mark though, I have and that momentum and feel good going to the rest of the paper. Absolutely not. It simply didn't have that anywhere. In verbal, sometimes I would read a passage and answer four questions and feel nice. And I'll feel like, look, 
all four answers i think i'm back the right one i'm getting 12 marks here with that i'll go to the next batch i didn't find it so there was no there was no relief if you follow cricket there'll be one joke bowler no stress you talk him for a four year under it goes up you, you settle in and then you you play out the next two three overs that was not happening it was it was stressful all over the board thank you this is a simple one every year cat exam date the source score card date and uh, results date are actually uh, slightly uh, not very happy days so every every instance of good news that we guys here there plenty more bad news that there so competitive exam right so it's an exam that's defined in a way where you get 94th percentile you don't feel like you're on the top 6% of the country you feel like up to call nahi aayega so we are in a scarcity setup everybody wants the, the top 6 top 8 top 10 or whatever that that bhayankar ambition is so every score is not seen as being in the top few but as missing out on the juiciest uh, chunk so it's so usually yeah, i hear bad news so i don't i don't look forward to these days personally uh, but th- this time i'm hearing way more i'm finding so many students who are um, who are um, properly upset hey this simply didn't go well uh, i prepared so much for it and th- th- there's a vague feeling with this quant especially that look i prepared i could have prepared more but any amount of preparation from me and i'm not cracking this paper right so on that feeling is very unnerving you start worrying about your self worth how do i prepare for one more year raise bhi nahi hoga if this paper comes next year i'm not cracking it next year also so i cannot do this quant okay fine so so i can tell you this i'm not going to uh, say don't feel disappointed I, it's not my place to do that but i can tell you things will get better a week from now when you process this when you realize that this was tough but it's not a reflection of what you are capable of it will pass this too shall pass definitely so this is a annoying high pressure exam no doubt about it this year was super unusual because of the extent to which the quant was night marish it was unnerving and and i've been taking this year exam for years and probably not a pressure environment but it totally unnerved me so it's a, it's a properly stressful experience don't let it um, don't 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 go into this funk where you say eh hoga nahi every chance that they'll they'll correct uh, usually the cat exam setters revert to me they'll realize that they, they just threw the toys out of the pram and made quant too difficult and bring it back normalize it next year and and the benchmark since it's a competitive exam one of the advantages is five marks five questions in this quant paper and you could you could have got 90th percentile and that's probably enough to open a bunch of doors so the lesson probably is to keep your wits with you and say look the exam is tough i need to recalibrate for that the way bigger lesson is to say look big deal kya farak padta big deal one exam didn't go my way if it if it didn't it's all right that definitely do the uh, other exams definitely keep your head up uh, do two things that elevate your mood no don't let this one silly 120 minute thing define who you are not, not totally not worth it what right? now what should be the big take away don't put all your eggs in this cat shaped basket totally not worth it don't quit your job and prepare for this don't um, uh, piss off people around you and say why sabito mai mba karne jana hai don't do all that don't say i'll write cat if i go to im ahmedabad bangalore calcutta that's it i'm not doing anything else and so um, the, the the economy is in rather good shape and so when i graduated from from uh, mba it was 20 years ago there were only eight colleges that offered mba in india it reached the barely only we all knew only eight colleges there maybe there are 20 more somewhere else we didn't know about them and so there was ahmedabad bangalore calcutta lucknow fms xlri the ksp jain and maybe one more that's all we had heard i'm sure there were other colleges but all over the country people had heard about six or seven or eight eight names now there are probably eight decent colleges in in any set of group of 2 3 contiguous states and so and you can join the college rank 50th in our country and go places the economy can stomach so many mbas there are so many new industries coming up that need people who can run businesses and so don't say i will go to ahmedabad or nothing don't say i'll write cat mujhe im mein karna hai otherwise what is the point why will i do it in any other college right x80 right snap right nmat c keep your options open uh, if you are interested in a finance career right cfa if you are interested in marketing do digital marketing courses you don't need to do an mba to to to, to go far in your career you just this whole exam this environment is uh, telling us that 
uh, think of it as look I'm on a steady track on top of this I want to see if I can add uh, one more bonus cat MBA is kabhi try kar lete ho gaya to ho gaya it has to be like that it cannot be something that you put uh, all your hopes and, and, and your interest and your emotional energy into it not worth it keep that in mind and if any of you has any power any mechanism any campaign to reach out to the powers that be tell them that guys for the love of god conduct this exam more than once in a year the experience is the same the competitiveness is the same the selection process is the same but if students can write the exam in september and december then that one day is not so crucial and you don't have to say look ab to ye gaya now i have to wait 12 months to have another crack you can have another crack in 3 months i'm sure operationally it is easy it could be one thing that magically relieves so much stress from people's mind without uh, losing anything really i hope they do it we are 2024 aspirant if you're thinking about okay agle baar ke liye kya karna hai and so don't let this one thing define who you are read away to glory that's that's been the, the kind of input that you have said uh, all the time and we have i'm continuing to say it continuing to say it stay in touch with your ex uh, i have i know several students who are just annoyed with anything that has variables in it this paper is telling us that you cannot be that Uh, thinking in terms of excess and vice is essential. I think it's a super crucial skill set to life itself. Uh, it kind of temperamentally makes you sound with uh, with uncertainty. With saying, "Look, this is a variable. I don't know what it is." Like we we did a score versus percentile thing, and I don't know. Ninety nine percentile could be seventy two, could be seventy five, could be sixty eight. X can go from sixty eight to seventy five. It's a good way of accommodating the fact that we don't have certainty over anything. So definitely. Don't don't neglect algebra. I mean, I will not do that. Don't do that. So, do not quit your job. Don't don't do that thing. Don't do the thing amping up pressure on cat. Again, the caveat here: if you fell off and you don't have to really work, take a time off. That's that's leaning into the privilege that you have. Power to you. Please do that. But for ninety five percent of the applicants, the job is the mainstream. If that is the case, don't say I'm going to crack this and go places. I need to have the time to prepare. All that is just hogwash. you have to say i'm balancing my job and this if you have a really bad job environment it's a separate problem solve for that find another job or fix that problem communicate with people but don't have that problem and find some other solution not worth it right so to par with a smile aise bhi exam hamare hath mein nahi hai the perform this is exam is going after us and, and, and hitting us and burying us and creating a lot of pain uh, might as well say look if end point aisa hi hai to kam se kam process to theek ho jaye so the the, the 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 destination is really poor let me at least enjoy the journey destination hamare hath mein nahi hai this exam is clearly saying that a beautifully well prepared candidate and i've seen several of them and i've seen i'm seeing them i've seen them yesterday today who candidates who are ideally poised to crack this exam who've done all the most of the things right are coming out saying look it in foreign place it can happen it can very well happen that 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 to us don't go your way very much possible so you can't have everything riding on that 120 minute which case you have to enjoy the journey keep keep that in mind best wishes guys Hush.